Now this morning was a humid one, and these are my shorts I just took off. Check this out. This is how you know it's a good one. I just did that on the garage school floor, so that's gonna kill me, but I had to show you. It was humid. I'm not lying. Good morning, and welcome to the video. So I just finished my morning run. Today is a day of doubles, which means I'm running twice today. This morning's run was seven miles at a 718 minute per mile pace. That is 51 minutes and seven seconds. And according to my Garmin, I burned 892 calories. So this is my third week of doubles, which means I run in the morning, I run in the evening. This morning was seven miles. This evening is four miles. So 11 miles total today. We'll dive in into today, into the video. So welcome, beautiful morning to kick off of the run. It's Tuesday. So right now I'm doing like one of four different things for breakfast every morning. First one is either protein sludge and an English muffin. The second one is pumpkin pie protein oats. The third one is my famous protein waffle or pancake recipe, which I'm about to show you. And then the fourth one is the oatmeal, avocado, and egg combination. I probably should make a video on its own, it just breaks down like my four go-to breakfasts right now that I'll, I'll rotate through. But I believe I have mastered the protein waffle or pancake recipe, and I'm about to show you so you can recreate it yourself. So here's the ingredients. To start off, you have Kodiak cakes. This is a buttermilk flavor. Now one serving is what I'm gonna use that is 53 grams of mix. Uh, and then I'm going to do probably one and a half scoops of the blueberry muffin whey protein. One egg thrown in there, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon of cinnamon, 14 grams of chia seeds, one mashed up banana, and then, almond, or not almond milk, regular milk, uh, just until the batter is thin or thick enough. So that is, these are the ingredients for the, the waffles that I'm about to make in the waffle maker. And the final product right here, you guys can Get a glimpse of this, Look at that masterpiece. These are, in my opinion, the perfect protein waffles. Also, like I said, it can be transitioned into a, a pancake recipe, but the banana really makes it, a mashed up banana, a key product, and a perfect protein waffle. Also, one of the reasons that our protein powder See if we can focus on this. There we go. Our protein powder bakes so well in like cookies or pancakes or waffles, it doesn't get dry at all. It's because we designed it that way. We added this small amount of casein protein. So it's like an 88% whey protein, 12% casein blend. And that small amount of casein protein powder in that blend allows it for it not to dry out when you're using it in, the, in baked products. Uh, pancakes, waffles, cookies, stuff like that. So we designed it that way specifically, and that's why it works so well. So doubles. Doubles of running is where you run twice a day. So like today, seven miles in the morning, four miles in the evening. And then on Friday, this coming Friday, I have eight miles in the morning and three miles in the evening. So this week I have two doubles. The last two weeks, I, I started with one double day a week. This week's two doubles. And I figured the best way to describe why I'm incorporating doubles into my training now is to have my coach tell you. 
So I'm about to hop on the call with Patrick Cutter, who's my coach, and explain the intent of adding doubles to my programming. Hello. What's going on, man? So I figured the best way to, to break it down and explain it is I'm recording this right now, is have you explain it for the people on YouTube to understand why we're adding doubles to training and why they might add doubles to their training. The thing I would say for, for most people that like, you know, are wanting to do um, double runs is um, you really want to, you know, make sure you're, you know, you've been running for a while and you have, you know, a, a good sense of what you're capable with, with training. And um, if, if I think if you're running like under 45, 50 miles a week, uh, maybe a little less, you don't really need to do a double day, in my opinion. Um, but like for you, you know, we're, you know, you know, we're like over 50. So once you start getting like, you know, 50, 60, you can add in like, um, you know, one double day a week. And um, you can do that on, you know, um, an easy recovery day. You can do, you know, like six or seven in the morning and then, you know, three or four at night. And yeah, typically, you know, like what you've been doing is, you know, you want to make sure you have at least like six hours in between each of the runs, you know, because it's really not kind of pointless to do a double run if you're going to have like, you know, like an hour between. So are you really saying is the intent of a double run to to get in more, essentially get in more volume of running, more miles throughout a week without really beating down a bunch of long runs? And yeah. at the same time, training on beat down heavy legs to prepare for like an upcoming race season. Some people that they probably have an idea of you know what double runs are. So so basically, you don't want to do two hard runs a day. So you don't want to do like a hard workout in the morning and a hard workout at night. Um, generally, you can kind of split it up. You can do what we've been doing. You do an easy run in the morning, an easy run at night, or we haven't done this yet, but. You could do, you know, a workout in the morning, and then you could do an easy recovery run at night. So you can kind of do either way. It doesn't really matter how you um, want to balance that. It just really depends on what you're doing with your with your coach you're working with. So, but for us right now, we've just been doing the the two easy runs per day. But eventually, once we get into, you know, um, training for whatever marathon goes on in the fall, you know, we'll. Uh, We'll probably have some some weeks where we will do you know easy run the same day of a workout or like with my coaches and me we've done you know like a hard workout with like maybe twenty miles total of work in the morning and then um, later on that that evening we'll do like three or four more miles so it'll be like a twenty four mile day. No, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for hopping on here, and uh, I know a lot, I know a lot of people benefit from this information. Very up close and personal. It is a beautiful day here in Central Texas. Let me give you an update on what's going on here at the BPN HQ. Things we're working on, things are moving. We've officially moved all of our offices and all of our employees into the new section. And the team is in here right now packing orders. So let's go check on them. We moved into our warehouse expansion just in time because we don't have any rack in here yet. We're on, in the process of working on that right now. However, all of this inventory would not fit in our current or the warehouse next door. We got this expansion just in time for all this inventory coming in. So all this stuff is just the overflow and the new part right now uh, so in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have this whole, whole place like outfitted with racking and uh, warehouse fulfillment automation. Lots of stuff. We got a new product in today, actually. It's vegan protein. So a peanut butter cookie and a chocolate vegan protein powder, naturally sweetened. Uh, the protein sources are watermelon seed, pumpkin seed, and pea protein. So by the time you guys watch this video, that'll be live on the site. So lunch for the day, we have right here... This is cilantro lime rice that I picked up at HEB that was already pre-made, really good. And this is eight ounces of elk. 
So I bought elk meat from, uh, it was this online distributor based out of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So I got elk, elk is very lean. It was my first time having elk, delicious. So I bought ground elk and I bought elk steaks, elk ribeye. And of course, we're gonna throw a bunch of ketchup on this. So this is lunch. Eight ounces of ground elk, 250 grams of cilantro lime rice. I'm gonna throw this back, but I'm an elk fan. I gotta admit, it's, it's good. Okay, so here is who came to visit me at work today. You can see how massive Remy is getting. I mean, Remy is literally the size of Ryder at this moment in time. And she's only like, I think Remy's like 14 weeks. So she's gonna be a bigger pup. So we got Rem, we got Rye, straight chilling. You like coming to work? You like visiting work, huh? You good pup. You good pup. He's a wild Nick Bayer. Hey. What's going on? What are we doing today? Run number two of the day. Now the thing with like, with running, just like any other aspect of fitness, you can't just ramp up volume super high. You're gonna get injured, overtrain, not recover properly. It's a big takeaway with like doubles is you can't jump right into it. Like Patrick was saying, especially if your running volume isn't used to being high. So like as my body's adapted to increasing volume of running, well, I've been able to incorporate double days. And the thing with like increasing volume is your body learns how to recover. Your body's recovery system adapts and improves, becomes more efficient. So like I can recover in between runs a lot better, a lot faster, a lot more efficient than I used to be. Because I've slowly, you almost lost it there. Almost lost it. Increased volume. So keep that in mind. Later. Later, Gator. So post run and post lift, uh, the team's all lifting. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna grab a quick little lift too. So our vegan protein powder, like I said, we have a chocolate flavor. I'm about to actually mix up two scoops of chocolate vegan in this cup right here. And then our other flavor is a peanut butter cookie. Now the thing with a plant-based protein powder is you don't have to follow a vegan diet to consume plant-based protein powders. Um, a great alternative to whey protein if, and I don't have this issue, but I know a lot of people do, if whey protein powder or milk products upset your stomach, you get bloated, gassy, you just have an intolerance to uh, lactose or whey protein or milk, a plant-based protein powder is an awesome alternative for you. So whether you follow a vegan diet or you have issues with whey, you have issues with milk, a plant-based protein is perfect. I personally like the flavor, like the texture. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little grittier. Uh, with a plant-based protein powder as opposed to like whey protein. However, I like the texture. Uh, and then we have you know chocolate and peanut butter cookie. So that is the video. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you plan to implement doubles into your running, make sure that your mileage is at the point where like Patrick Cutter, my coach was saying, uh, get your mileage up first and slowly incorporate doubles maybe once a week. And if you do like in the morning, make it like a, a five to seven mile run. And then in the evening, eight hours plus after, six to eight hours plus after um, three to four miles. So start incorporating that if that's something you wanna do, get more volume, more mileage into your week and let me know how it goes. So thanks for tuning in to another video. We'll see you guys in the next one.